Hi there everyone, my name is Jonathan, and I'm here to present you one of these special projects that I plan to do myself. This project is based on from a website, Evil Mad Scientist Laboratories. What exactly am I going to replicate? I'm going to replicate a hydrodynamic. Not only that, I'm going to test the theory to find out if I can actually make a proportion in the first place just using a simple 9 volt battery. In fact, here's my replica right now. You're probably wondering, how did I do this? Well, let's get started with the theory. Let's start off with this guy. Uh, what's this guy's name again? Oh yeah, Elihu Thompson. He was one of the first electrical engineers that actually discovered the electromagnetic proportion. It was even developed by the Russian scientists. Not only that, they actually derived from work from Alfred Richardson and Su Hoi Guha. These were the people that actually helped discover the electromagnetic proportion and actually put them to the test. However, the Russian scientists were unable to continue the funding because it was too expensive. So what exactly is EMF being used in real days, or in real life? Simple. Magnetic trains that can go 100, 200, or 300 miles per hour. And in fact, NASA is even developing this as a part of a theory. Here we can see the galaxy. They plan to use the interstellar winds th that are developed in the galaxy to actually produce an EMF force. I'm not sure how exactly this will work, this is just the basics of this. So if you didn't understand a word that I just said, you can always replay back the video. If you're too lazy to do that, you might as well just go kill yourself at this time. Well, why don't we get started already? Let's gather the materials together. You'll need some tape, a 9 volt battery, 2 quarters, and a grounder and hot wire. Make sure the quarters are clean of residue, or you may have a difference of results. Oh yeah, you also need some other materials. Foam plate, neodymium magnet, salt, and transparent tape. That was I say tape twice. There are also some other optional items that you can also bring, such as camcorder to record, glue, smythe, or ruler. Well, I think that's all the materials we pretty much need. Why don't we go ahead and actually do the physical construction? Phase 1. Construction. Here we can see the picture of the finished replica. This is where we're going to need to construct. Let's get started. Step 1. Cut the plate to fill in the quarter slots. Here's what I mean if you still understand. Get a small knife and make two incisions that the quarters will fit in. Make sure that the line spacing is 1 inch because that's well placed the magnet. The quarters should be held by, by friction. If you still didn't understand, well, here's a video of what I'm doing. I've already cut in the slots, so now I'm filling in the slots with the quarters in. It's kinda hard to do this with one hand. There's one. And there's two. Notice again they're held by friction. And there's the finished product. Step 2. Insert the component into the plate, which includes the magnet and the battery. Here's the magnet. You need neodymium magnet, diameter of 1 inch, height of half an inch. You can also stack the magnets of height with a quarter of an inch. The magnets should not stick directly with the quarter. Just place them in between. You should have no problem. Now it's time to place a 9 volt battery in. Be careful when putting it next to the magnet. It'll stick like a charm. See? Now it'll actually be difficult to take it out. You might want to have to align the magnet with tape. Step 3. Wire the components together. You only need two wires. You have a ground wire and a hot wire. All you have to do is just basically put them on the quarters and on the and on the cations and oops. Uh, uh oh. Looks like I got the wire stuck to the magnet. Just a note. Always be careful with the need of the magnet at all times. Things can go wrong, and you know something bad's gonna happen. Well, here's the finished product. 
Notice that the, one of the wires is not connected to the battery correctly. That's because I don't want to drain the juice on the battery. The juice actually drains quick. I don't want to have to buy another battery at Walmart. Stuff is expensive, you know. Well, next, next phase. Setup. What do I mean? We'll need to gather a couple of items to actually start our experiment. Salt. Yet yeah, I'll actually be able to afford this at Walmart for only 33 cents. And of course a bucket filled with water. Make sure the water is distilled. Because tap water may have some other chemicals or ions that may affect the proportion. The simple steps, fill the bucket with distilled water, add the salt, and then just mix it up. Now it's time for phase 3, the application. When ready, just place it, and let it go by itself. Yay, it's working! Okay, now it crashed. Now it's starting to go backwards on me. I thought I was only supposed to go forward. Oh well, life is full of mysteries. Let's take another look at this. This is an underwater view of the quarters. Even though you really can't see much, you can actually hear a small hum. This hum is actually the forward propulsion that, that's being caused by the electricity. The water helps complete the circuit. Well, what does this tell us about the experiment of this replica? I can safely say, that this replica is actually a good pass test. Well, I hope this video has given you a better idea of hydrodynamic proportion. These kind of magnetic forces go beyond the basics of Newtonian mechanics. Although these forces are not practical in the real world, I hope it inspires some people conducting future research. Well, thanks for watching.